entire system brought them together for a happy hour it was at Red Star. When I asked them, you know, what was it like when you first saw each other? And it went like this. Heather thought, wow, who's the boring corporate guy in the camel coat? And Matt was like, wow, who's the bitchy girl at the bar? There is no connection. But despite their first impressions, they actually got to talk to each other and over a really loud guitar player, got to know each other a little better. And that's how it started. They dated for about two years, and in April of 2009, Heather got her PhD. You know, a lot of people go to college for seven years. I know, they're called doctors. So they celebrated by going to dinner and then went to Mount Washington to view the city. After dinner, Heather started getting cold and wanted Matt's jacket. Well, the ring was in the coat pocket. Heather actually went for the coat, but Matt grabbed it so she would not find the ring. Matt then took the ring out of the coat without Heather seeing it and lodged it in the thumb of the mitten. By this time, looking at Matt's mittens, Heather's like, come on, Matt, we're not camping, let's go. They walked into, out to uh, the Overlook on Mount Washington and they were looking at Red Star and they were reminiscing about the boring corporate guy falling in love with a bitchy bar girl. Matt finally got the ring out that was stuck in the thumb slot of the mitten and worked up enough courage to ask Heather to be his wife. Heather said yes, and as they say, the rest is history. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The new Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Anigan. Sardes by your side. 